Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan J. Reinhardt of Wargaming Recon, and we're back at you with another pandemic coffee break. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. I have my Tim Hortons mug. No, we are not sponsored by Tim Hortons, but if anyone knows someone at Tim Hortons wants to throw some money away, we won't say no. I'm drinking my decaf hot Earl Grey with Splenda and cream. Hmm. I do love a good top, cup of tea. I don't know what all of you are drinking, but I hope it's something delightful. Hey, Nathan, thank you for joining us today. So we are still here sequestered at home. Hey, Paul, how are you? And I am able to work from home. I know not all of us can, but I am. And when I'm at work, normally I get a coffee break. And so I'm still taking coffee break, but now I'm spending it with you. And that's why I have this and I hope you are drinking something delicious as well we've had some really interesting and cool coffee beverages or tea actually drink whatever you like uh, over the past few coffee breaks so it's been really cool hey Pete thank you for joining us this morning so although I'm drinking decaf Earl Grey you don't have to drink that you can drink whatever you like and today, um, oh, let's see. Paul says, coffee, dude, always a coffee. I'm good. Working from home, too. And Nathan says, it's only Tuesday? Paul says, it feels like Friday. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so one of the things about working from home or just being home is this feeling of not knowing what day it is. And I kind of get a little bit of an understanding of what it's like to be retired. Because when you are retired, you're no longer working every day. How do you differentiate day one from day two? Like, it's just... The sun comes up, the sun goes down, or doesn't, I guess. It, it just makes it really tricky to uh, keep your days straight. So it's nice to have some sort of routine. And for me, doing this pandemic coffee break is nice because then I can actually be like, okay, wait, so that means today is Tuesday. Because my work generally is the same day in, day out. I do the same kind of stuff uh, where I do like a certain task on a Monday that I don't do on a Wednesday or whatever like that. So generally speaking, it doesn't matter. And that's why it's nice to be able to say like, okay, wait, today's Tuesday. I'm doing the Tuesday coffee break. Let me think about it. So I want to cover a few things uh, first that might be of interest to people. So we did a poll on our fan club Facebook page because we wanted to find out what movie on Netflix would you like to watch for a Netflix watch party? And if you're not familiar, Netflix watch party is one of those things where a group of people get together to watch something from Netflix and only the person running the party, the host, me in this case, needs to have Netflix. None of you needs a Netflix subscription. Only I do is my understanding. So I put a link out, you click on the link, it brings you to the watch party. You do need two things. You need Google Chrome, and then you also need to install the Netflix Watch Party plugin, which is free. Google Chrome is free too. It's a web browser, really easy to do all these things. So you have those two things, then you click on the link that I give you. It brings you to the film that we will watch. And then in your Google Chrome browser up near the top in the address bar, you know, where you type in like the www.wargamingrecon.com or whatever. Over there on the right is this little icon that'll be for the watch party, Netflix watch party. And you click on that after you click on the link and then it'll give you this little chat on the side on my computer. It's on the right. And that way you can talk with all of us as we watch the movie together. And so we had done this poll to see what we would watch. And don't you know... It came in a tie. <laughs> uh, so voting ended at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time today. And so I'm officially breaking the tie. Uh, so any of you who are disappointed can be disappointed with me. So the tie for first place was between Dirty Dozen and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. I have officially voted for Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Uh, mainly be well, for two reasons. One, because it was in the podcast episode that Adrian and I did where we talked about cinematic um, enthusiasm and things that inspire us. And so this was a film in there and he and I uh, both like the bit about uh, carving your head out with a uh, spoon because it hurts more. And I just, I love Alan Rickman. I love him so, so much. And I know a lot of people think of him from things like Harry Potter or whatever, but uh, for me, 
this is Alan Rickman. I love him from Dogma. It's just amazing. And he's done so many good things. Even his bad stuff is really, really, really good. So I'm a huge Alan Rickman fan. And we'll be doing the watch party on Thursday. And that is, what is that, April? So today's last day in March. Tuesday was April 2nd. So Thursday, April 2nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll have a link on the Wargaming Recon Facebook page, on our Twitter account. We'll have it also on the Fan Club page. Please feel free to share these things with anyone who you think would like to join and watch. I also want to let you know that there are going to be um, watch parties done uh, by the Mythwits on Wednesday and Friday. So on Wednesday, they are doing gold member which would be a really fun thing to watch and then friday they're doing flash gordon so if you've never seen flash gordon you need to watch and if you have you need to watch anyway the film's terrible it's so so bad but it's amazing it's clear to me why it's a cult classic and why people just love it so much but it's just this really fantastic uh, sword and sorcery kind of thing and it's just delightful in the fact that it's weird <laughs> it's just so f bizarre <laughs> and it's just it's amazing it happens to be my friend Pete's favorite film he talks about it a million times so I am glad that we're going to be watching that with him and the people from the Mythwits so I'll be there on Friday I can't remember what time it is on friday um i know gold members at 8 p.m eastern standard time on wednesday and i'm trying to double check the time for friday but i can't find it so we will probably i'll take one look, more peek and if i miss it on uh, friday it'll be he doesn't say well darn i know there's a, a time for friday but when we get closer i'll do it in another um live thing and um <laughs> as well so pete says uh that the watch parties are so much fun make sure you watch uh, i actually watched what was it six um wunderkin wunderkin is that what we watched on, on monday pete uh, and that was a blast uh and paul says fully agree it's great to get the mood going for rangers of shadow deep so the game's talking about um uh, robin hood and pete says great way to social distance still hang out um <laughs> it really is paul thinks it's better flash Gordon's is better than the star wars you're wrong paul and pete says 9 p.m eastern standard time hey jamie how are you so friday 9 p.m eastern standard time uh is flash gordon being done by the Mythwits. uh we'll share the link to that as well and tomorrow wednesday april 1st not a joke uh wednesday april 1st is um awesome powers and gold member and then because i broke the tie here we're giving recon on thursday april 2nd there's a lot of movies on thursday april 2nd we are doing oh my goodness there's just so many films sweet jesus uh, on thursday april 2nd 8 p.m eastern standard time we are doing um robin hood um prince of thieves with the incredible alan rickman uh may he rest in peace man i love alan rickman i love i actually watched dogma again he's so freaking good oh my goodness so you got your nights planned for um movie watching uh and i will say unlike the live stream that i'm doing now these do not get saved so you need to watch them as we're doing them they're not saved you can't get to them after the fact but because the movies go for a while like robin hood's like what two hours um I can't remember how long Flash Gordon is. Longer than I would have loved. <laughs> um, oh, jeez. Yeah, because Jay sent me the Blu-ray of that thing. <laughs> it's so bad. It's good. Um, but, yeah, because they're... <laughs> with this phone. Um, because they're so long, even if you're not there at 8, you get in at 8.30 or 9, you'll still catch some of the film. Please do still join, even if it's after the fact. But you come in wherever you come in in the film. That's just how it goes. And so if it goes well for us, we'll do another one next week here at Wargaming Recon. And I know um, Pete has things planned for the Mythwits for a lot of these watch parties. And so that'll be really cool as well. Because it hurts more. I love that. That's such a great line. Oh, man. Why wouldn't you just use a knife? Why wouldn't you just, you know, cut out with a knife? It's easier. No, because it hurts more. Oh. Mm. 
it's good stuff. Uh, so, speaking of the pandemic, I actually just finished a book that I think you should all read, and I want to share it. It's called This Is Going to Hurt, Secret Diaries of a Medical Resident, or some um, places called Secret Diaries of a Junior Doctor by Adam Kay. And it talks about his time working in the UK for the National Health Service as an OBG, what we call here in the States, an OBGYN. And he talks, uh, he takes diary entries, basically, not all of them, but diary entries from when he was working. And he shares them. Some of them are really, really funny. Some are heartbreaking. But the thing that comes through the most for me is the fact that when he was a doctor there, and he's no longer a doctor there, he left, um, not because like he was like oh but just he chose to leave uh when he was there in like the early 2000s um even then like they were overworked they weren't given breaks they were the nhs was basically endangering people because they were more or less forcing <clears throat> doctors officially or unofficially to do things like 13 hour shifts or 18 hour shifts when they shouldn't and to do all these surgeries and things are bound to happen anyway but you really have to wonder how safe is it when a doctor's working like 13 hours and they don't allow them to rest in between it on any downtime because those empty rooms are for patients and you can't you're here to work you can't shut your eyes for 10 minutes like google lets you take a 15 minute nap they understand that it's fine you take a 15 minute break you they have these special cubicles you can go in you can take a nap if you need a power nap they understand that it's value you're going to be better at your job afterwards google gets it right they do it at Alphabet, Google's parent company. They do it at Apple. They do it at all these IT places, right? Why the heck wouldn't they allow a doctor to do it for the National Health Service? Like, I just, I don't get it. And yet, hey, good morning, Rob. And, and yet, no, uh, even then, you know, the National Health Service was being, like, gouged out by the government and continues to be now. And with the socialized healthcare, I'm not making a statement on whether socialized healthcare, national healthcare is good or bad, because that's not what my role here is. But the government's like hollowing it all out. And then here we are, we got this pandemic going on and they need every bed they can get. They need every doctor they can get. They need people to be at their best, all medical staff in any shape and level. And this is how you treat them. And I, I mean, obviously this book is about not now, it's about before now. So I'm hoping things are better now. But I suspect not. Even before the pandemic, I suspect not. But please check out This Is Going To Hurt. This was really good. It made me laugh. And like I said, it's heartbreaking at points too. But just a really, really, really good book. So your local library should have it. And of course, libraries are shut, right? But you can get it online. So you can either buy it from Amazon. Well, we have an Amazon link um, that gives you a disc. Oh, it doesn't give you a discount. Dude. Uh, yeah, so it'll just be like, because we've been talking about a lot of discounts lately. It gives you, uh, you can buy either the physical or the digital version, and it's an affiliate link. So it doesn't cost you anything extra, but what it does is um, Amazon uh, sees that we sent you their way, and then as thanks, they give us a small percentage of the sale. Not out of your pocket, out of their pocket. So I say make Amazon pay is really what it is. Or your... Um, a local library probably has it on something called Overdrive, where you can get ebooks and audiobooks. So I know uh, in my network here, there's like 40 something libraries here. Uh, it is there, and it probably is in your library too. So make sure you check out your local library's website. I would highly, highly recommend that you do that uh, because you can get it at a discount. And I've just, uh, if you're watching this live on Facebook, I'm just popping the link to Amazon on in the chat so that you can uh, click that and buy it on Amazon if you like. It's an affiliate link though, so please be mindful of that. Um, but this is going to hurt really, really good, and I think it's very timely for now. Paul says, my wife just read that, it's good. Yeah, I really like it, and I highly, highly recommend it. I'm actually gonna be doing a thing about it for work. Uh, I work in a library, uh, so I'm gonna be doing a thing about it for work as well. Uh, so we've done that. I wanna remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you go to wargamerecon.com slash YouTube, uh, we want to get the numbers going up, more subscribers, and so that way we can then do this giveaway where we will randomly pick six. I had to think, like, what finger was I going to use? That we're going to do six <laughs> uh, 
copies of this audiobook that is narrated by Henry Hyde, um, and it's written by Michael Sace, and we'll be giving that out as well to people uh, randomly who go ahead and are um, subscribers for YouTube. So we want to make sure that we can give you content while all this craziness is happening and all these things are going on. Uh, what other cool stuff's happening? So let me tell you about um, this weekend, past weekend, right? Um, there were a lot of sales that were ending or just they happened to be going. So I decided to use some sales and discounts because of the pandemic. And one that I really wanted to make sure I used was for the Michigan Toy Soldier. It ended on Saturday, I think it was. And so while I was doing it, I was like, let me do some other sales. So I bought some stuff from Henry Hyde. Uh, I bought uh, some stuff from Michigan Toy Soldier. I was going to buy some stuff from the Wargaming Company because they have the 25% off. But then I realized I don't need any knock trees. So I didn't do that, but you should. Uh, and then I also bought some stuff from Bad Squiddo Games, which I've never purchased on them before. And I really wanted to. So I placed an order for bunnies. They have eight, I think it's eight bunny figures cast in white metal. And the thing they're doing right now is if you buy anything from their store at badsquiddogames.com, and then you also go on and make sure you add it to your cart. Uh, they have coloring pages, which are free. Zero dollars for these things. And you get a link to them as a PDF. There's four per coloring book, basically. And anyone can color them. I got them from my kids, basically. But uh, the thing that they're doing is, um, because of the pandemic, they realized that not everyone might have coloring supplies at home. It might not be able to get to paper or things like that for this kind of stuff. So if you put in the notes when you order, if you put these things in and buy anything else, and then you put in the notes that you would like coloring pencils and or paper, they will send that to you. So I did that because uh, we have some coloring implements, but honestly, they're always getting lost or broken and we're getting low on printer toner. Uh, so uh, and getting low on paper. Uh, so I knew printing them out would be tricky and it was really nice for Annie to do this so I went ahead and ordered all this stuff and then I got an email today saying that stuff had been shipped but that um then I got a personal email from her that uh unfortunately the bunnies are on back order uh but they're gonna be coming in any day and she shipped out the coloring stuff to me just really really nice great customer service from Annie over there at Bad Squiddle Games so please go and buy something from there anything and then you can get the free coloring pages but make sure you add them to your check out for stuff so that way you can get that and then if you need the coloring materials put the note in and if not just get them and off you go and the more that people get the coloring pages the more she'll continue to do it so it's really cool that she offers this and i think at this time and day uh, i mean even without it like kids art programs are getting skewered right <laughs> so uh now that we're homeschooling our kids for the time being uh this is where we can do art and introduce them to this hobby that we all love. So it's just it's kind of a cool thing to do. So badsquiddlegames.com for that. And I'm still waiting to hear back from Michigan Toy Soldier about the status of my order, which I, I know they have to be overwhelmed and they're dealing with everything, but I just I do not want a repeat of what happened with Brookhurst Games on California when I ordered Peter Pig stuff and I didn't hear for ages. So I am good morning, Roby. Thank you for joining us. So I am hesitant. But I'm hopeful that Michigan Toy Soldier does not take forever. Because <laughs> the stuff I ordered, I really need very quickly. Or as quickly as I can send. It's that, um, like, it's ammo by MIG. It's this muddy ground stuff that uh, is basically going to be like what I get from GW, but cheaper and more of it. So, <laughs> uh, that's the hope. Uh, and then speaking of other things i made some more tiny 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 progress on my things in the basement chicken coop bam and you're gonna think it doesn't look very different except yesterday i talked about the um nesting box so it has a roof and then i added the little walkway for the chickens to go down because chickens need a walk so that's kind of cool and then i gotta put the rail roof on and then do some more basing on it. And then I started on the pig pen. <laughs> Look at this leg. This base is gigantic and it's so thick. And not like the kids I mean nowadays with a double C. Like it's actually thick. It's crazy here. Uh, so I did basing on it. 
and I worked around. You can see where the house uh, Pikmin would be, and I get a left, left room for the fencing. So I'll get that done, and I, I built the actual pig pen house here, and it's good to go. And I actually put some basing stuff inside. I'm gonna have to get my gamer again to use it as um, a flashlight. So hold on one sec uh, for everyone, uh, so you can see inside. Cause I got the roof on. <laughs> so you can see I here we go. I put some basing stuff inside the um, pig pen so when it's on the table you're not going to see a whole lot but you'll be able to see some mud and everything because pigs are dirty so that is how it is and we're just making slow progress on all those things in the basement kits uh, oh and actually speaking of things in the basement and I want to make sure I get this right uh, they've been cleaning house a little bit so uh, they're doing that discount the 10% off with uh, coupon code I think it's hashtag stay home you get 10% uh, off any of their laser kits, but then they also are doing, let me get pull this up so I get this right for all of you, because I don't want to give you wrong information about this. So they're also doing those $19 um, things, which we've talked about before, uh, where you can either get two single um, he, <laughs> um, Stasi's Heroes figs, or one two-figure pack for $19. It includes shipping in the continental U.S. And then they also have another one called Keep It Contained. Uh, you get four small containers and one large. And they're from their like, futuristic kind of look. So they'd be good for all sorts of stuff, actually. Really good for forty k, I think, uh, which is $19 as well, including shipping in the U.S. And there's coupon codes to those. But another thing that they're doing right now uh, and they're selling out of a lot of stuff is they are selling out uh, some pre-built kits things that they use for test builds and for the photos on their website so they have one which they call a future factory special it's assembled and unpainted there's only one available selling it for fifty dollars instead of 61 and I believe you can probably use your 10 percent on discount with this as well but you get an armored transport on like uh, tractor wheels uh, on like treads you get a cargo thing as well also on treads and something called an X container on treads and then you also get the actual container uh, separate too so you get all this these would be really really cool as like futuristic uh, transports and things like that that you could use for any type I, I think they'd actually be great for 40k but any type of things like that so uh, you should check those out. They're on their website. You gotta, it's not on the main page, which is something I dislike. So you actually have to go uh, and then go to the store. And then uh, when you click on store and scroll down, you'll see it. And then the other thing, um, and they had two, I don't know if they still have two or what uh, of these. Uh, it's called industrial add ons, assembled and unpainted. So you get two big air conditioner units, two small air conditioner units, and two sets of the vents. So that's four vents for $15 instead of 20. And these are gorgeous and they're just beautiful. And um, these are things that I built and I love and I highly recommend them as well. And for $15, how can you go wrong? So yeah, you pay shipping and stuff, but uh, that's nothing. Uh, so you should check those out as well. Um, we'd love to know what's going on with all of you. I know day to day is just kind of crazy for all of us. And that's just, I mean, it's hard, right? So you can just do what you're doing and, and keep on trying. Um, we did have the new podcast episode that came out yesterday about recasting, whether it's legal or not. And uh, I'm going to get snarky here for a minute. <laughs> So please excuse me for that. Um, I really um, appreciated how many people uh, were ex flexing their legal minds and legal uh, expertise without actually having gone to law school and having any sort of legal experience or, you know, knowledge really um, about any of this stuff who were uh, commenting. Uh, Good morning, you who are commenting about whether recasting is legal or not. And so I just appreciated that you were all sitting 
those of you who are are sitting in your chairs at your computers and thinking, I'm not going to read anything Jonathan posted about. And I'm definitely not going to listen to the episode where an actual lawyer with actual experience and expertise in this topic is going to tell us what is legal or not. I'm just going to go and say what I think. So I've really appreciated that. Uh, for everyone else, thank you for looking at the posts. Uh, I hope you listen to the episode. If not, I hope you will. Gordon's fantastic and there's a lot of great content in it. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, you can lead a man to water, but you can't make him drink, right? That's what's going on. And I eventually decided I turning off notifications for all those posts yesterday. So even if there was good stuff posted afterwards, I didn't see it because I was just, I was having enough <laughs> and I was like, I'm done. You know, I'm, I don't need any more negativity. And, uh, that's just one of those things. Uh, I do want to say, so with all this pandemic stuff and being sequestered, right? Uh, one of the things that can be hardest is our mental health that can be hit really hard. And so for a while I wasn't, I stopped seeing my therapist because I couldn't see in person and uh, he and I both agree like that really a lot of value comes from being in the same room and being with one another. And so he offered doing like phone stuff and I was like, eh, I don't want to do phone. Uh, but then he started to do this thing called Zoom, which you probably have all heard of. It's a way to do like video chats or whatever. So he's, he got approved to do all that and everything. So I had a Zoom therapy session with him yesterday. And it was partly it was weird because I, I was here right in the studio and I, I, I'm using this setup and everything. And so when we first talked, in case you've never been to therapy, um, uh, he, when we first talked, he was talking about the change in the environment, not just like outside with all the whatever, but the fact that this is how we were meeting and having our session and doing treatment or whatever. Uh, and so he was asking for me, like, how was it? Right? Is it weird? Does it throw me off? Does it make me less or more likely to want to share or, or whatever? Because for some people, it could be a real barrier. This change could be huge. Maybe it is for you. No judgments, right? And I did express to him that, you know, it was a little weird that like I'm staring at my webcam and he's like, oh, wait, you're not staring at the computer because I have this setup where the computer's down here and the webcam is up here so you can see more of my head and everything. And then I felt like I was performing a little bit, like I was doing the show or anything, but I talked about doing this coffee break with all of you and how I find it really helpful. But also as the more we talked, the more all of my many, 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 many hours. Oh God, there's so many hours of doing the show and doing it like this was valuable because I could really see the webcam as him. So like I looked at the webcam and I, I envisioned him. I was like, okay, I'm talking to my therapist. I'm just, I'm just he looks like a webcam today because whatever. Uh, so like if I'm doing the show, that's what I do. I tend not to look at the screen where you're depicted or even the live screen where I'm depicted. I might glance down every so often during a live stream to look for comments or whatever, but otherwise I try not to. I'm looking at this and I'm picturing someone right here. Uh, one of you. <laughs> so it's it just like, it was really nice that it worked out for me that way. Uh, and I want to stress really that if any of you have any mental health concerns, please really do reach out to someone, a family member, a friend, a loved one, a coworker, uh, emergency people if you need to um, make an appointment with a therapist or a psychiatrist or psychologist if you need any of that and you can do a lot of stuff distance so if I can do it and do it via zoom and it was really super easy and if my therapist can do it via zoom when he's technologically challenged we all can <laughs> so please consider it if that's something that you need um, and I really don't have a whole lot else to share with everyone right now uh, I do just want to remind you all that we will be back tomorrow uh, at 10 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for another pandemic coffee break or at least I believe we will I haven't checked to see if my wife has a meeting <laughs> tomorrow at that time but I think we will and so we have that going on and uh, thank everyone for voting in the poll for our watch party so we'll have that on Thursday night 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time don't worry I'll remind you in the coffee breaks so and we'll have stuff on social media so you can come and watch Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and be sure to check out Mythwits ones on Wednesday night at 8 and Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and that's about all I got. So thank you, everyone, for joining us and coming in and seeing this. Be sure to uh, like and all that kind of stuff and subscribe to us on YouTube and everything. So thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. Remember, listen to the experts. 
listen to the scientists and the doctors don't listen to what Karen from Facebook says with her healing stones or whatever, they're probably not going to save you from the pandemic. Listen to the pros, please. Be safe. I hope you stay healthy. Be kind. Be good to yourself and others. And we can get through this. We can. This too shall pass. I firmly believe it. So thank you once again. And you know, no matter how busy you are, no matter how much time you're wondering, hmm, what healing stones are Karen using? And really, what does she think they're going to fix? You know that you have to. You gotta. You need to. That's right. Keep on gaming. Thanks, everyone.